Countless travelers have nightmare travel stories this summer. Just last month, travelers at Newark Airport were left stranded for days and sleeping on the floor after hundreds of flights were canceled across the country due to weather and the ongoing nationwide air traffic controller shortage. But a new federal bill may alleviate some of those headaches. The bill is passed. The House passed a bill that would renew funding for the Federal Aviation Administration for the next five years. The bill is aimed at enhancing the overall flying experience, improve airline refunds, hire more air traffic controllers, add new safety protocols, and upgrade airport technology and infrastructure. Plus, raise the pilot retirement age from 65 to 67. This legislation addresses many of the very concerns that we hear from the flying public. The bipartisan bill comes as post-pandemic travel demand continues to skyrocket and frustration builds due to delays and cancellations. The FAA bill will be able to solve some of these things. However, not everyone is on board. The White House has expressed concern over raising the pilot retirement age. The Senate will also be voting on its version of the bill. Airlines say some of the consumer protections in the Senate bill would make air travel more expensive and less accessible. There is the opportunity to find common ground. The House and Senate have until September to come to an agreement before the FAA's current authorization expires. Lisette Nunez, Fox 5 News.